In this special episode of Science for a Self-Reliant India, we continue our series on women scientists of India and their contribution towards scientific research and as builders of institutions in post-independent India. These women were exceptional and are true role models for one and all. So in this episode, we look at the lives of some exceptional scientists. Dr. Kamla Sohoni was one of the first women to be admitted to the Indian Institute of Science with a condition that she would be on probation during the first year of her research as she was a woman. Sohoni went on to become the first Indian woman to be awarded a PhD in a science discipline when she was awarded a doctorate from Cambridge University in 1939. Dr. Ashima Chatterjee was a chemist who was awarded her doctorate by Calcutta University in 1944. She had the distinction of becoming the first woman to be conferred a doctorate of science by an Indian university. She went on to successfully develop the anti-epileptic drug Ayush 56 and the anti-malarial drug from locally available medicinal plants. Dr. Kamal Jai Singh Randewe was a pioneer in oncology or cancer research and contributed immensely in the field of cell and molecular biology. Dr. Randewe completed her PhD from Bombay University in 1950. Dr. Rajeshwari Chatterjee was the first woman engineer from the state of Karnataka. She obtained her PhD from the University of Michigan and returned to India to join the Department of Electrical Communication Engineering at IISC and later became the chairperson of the Department of Electrocommunication Engineering at the Institute. It is because of the determination and perseverance of these women scientists and many more that gender barriers were broken in educational and research institutions which were earlier considered to be domains of men. Science is a global collective enterprise. So we all participate as scientists, not as women scientists, but as scientists uh, in this global collective enterprise. So we contribute it in a collective way. So the important thing is that like in the case of scientists like Annamani or Bibha Chaudhary or uh, Muthalakshmi Reddy. Science needs to become a way of thinking, a way of life. This and much more in this episode of Science for a Self-Reliant India, only on India Science.